Spencer Lazara here at the Fighters Only MMA Awards alongside Temba Marim Garimbo, excuse me. Man, it's a pleasure to meet you. The story, everybody knows your story now after you burst on the scene in the UFC, obviously won your last fight. Um, tell us about, you know, here you are on a red carpet. It's been quite the journey for you. You probably get asked this too much, but I got to ask. Tell us about the journey. Uh, the journey has been amazing and incredible and uh, man, it's going to be too amazing, you know, coming into 2024. Uh, with what I'm doing now, the work I'm putting in, uh, 2024 is a big year for me, I believe. I'm going to scoop all the awards next year in the Fighters Only magazine. Um, I believe upset of the year, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get Fighters, Fighters Only Fighters of the, Fight of the Year award. I'm going to get International Fight of the Year award. I'm going to get whatever award that is there, including the award that I'm probably going to get tonight. Um, because with everything that will come, I will continue to do good in my country of Zimbabwe, uh, auction my, my kids every time I fight and do something back home. You know, each one pick one. And I think, I believe God put me in this position so that I can change the trajectory of things in my community back home. Uh, you know, for my own, like, I'll be honest, you know, sometimes some things I do for my own selfish reasons to feel good because when I do good, I feel good. And when I feel good, I'm dangerous as a fighter. And that's just satisfying my needs. But, you know, changing the trajectory of where I come from is the most important thing, you know. Awesome, man. And talk about your training here in, in the States, though, and getting you prepared. Yeah, man. Um, you know, like I train now in Miami, I live in Miami, train in Miami, you know, the USA has got uh, great opportunity, great things, and um, there's so much here that you can do unlimited, you know. Uh, where I come from, it's not to say that we don't have, we had, uh, some people are fortunate enough to have more than others, but, you know, I didn't have the means to be able to train and get all everything that I needed there, you know. Um, Will it change? Yes, definitely. You know, one one person at a time. Uh, who knows? One day I might stop fighting and go back home and share the knowledge that I have learned here. Because I know African African MMA is gonna bust soon, bust soon, and we're gonna take over, man. Um, we are already taking over. Starting January 20th, I believe Drigas Triplesi is gonna become the middleweight champion, and that alone inspires me because it's a guy that I have also shared the match once or twice with. And I've, he has been a champion in the same organization that I was in. And, you know, that gives me energy too, you know. Um, I might love easy, but, you know, um, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's always... He's not fighting him yet, at least. Yeah, he's not fighting him at least, you know. But, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be amazing. And in the next years, once we have the opportunity, you're going to see a lot of... A lot of champions from Africa. There's going to be a point in time where the, every belt in the UFC is going to be held by an African. And you have an upcoming fight, right? Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, I am fighting Kifa Crosby, a guy from SBJ Island, Conor McGregor's gym. He thinks he's Conor McGregor. He's already said some stuff about me that he thinks that he knows me. Uh, you know, I took offense to that. Um, and come February 3rd, you know, good will defeat evil. And when I step in that cage, I'm going to knock this guy out. I've never wanted to knock someone out in my career uh, because I always have this soft side of me uh, where I, yeah, I don't want to say much, but, you know, um, comfortable third is tune in and you're going to see me knocking this guy out in the first round. Thank you so much for the time. It's an honor to meet you. Tambo Garimbo here at the MMA Awards.